Hey, it's Mindy. This is our new entryway. As you can see, it's not really, it's just a doorway. And this behind me. So this house does not have a regular entryway. It's just opens right into the living room. I am going to define the space and give you some tips for defining an entryway for yourself if you don't have one like us. So stay tuned. So here is a better look at the space. This is our front door. You open it, walk right in, and I just added that rug when we moved in. That door leads to the kitchen. And then there's this built-in here, which I love and I'm gonna use for function as well as decor. Um, but then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this space. All of this stuff that's here is basically gonna get put away because <laughs> it's not gonna stay. So we have this little section. We kind of um, set up the couch so that it creates this little area here. This rug at on overstock.com and it's a square it's three by three so instead of having just this small rectangle here it'll create a seemingly larger <laughs> entryway making the space more defined <music> all of the shelves um, some stuff is not going back up there but I got these baskets these are from Michaels and they're actually um the magazine baskets but they perfectly here so I thought that would look nice for storage um, and it's a nice looking basket so it's not gonna be an eyesore <laughs> then I got these from five below these were five dollars each and they're a nice size. So those are gonna, I'll still have to figure out where everything's gonna go, but that's the storage we're working with. And then I'll add decor later. Here, I'm gonna set up for mail. Um, Cause behind the door, we really can't hang anything. So I'm just gonna set this. If you remember, I did this in a anthropology dupe video so if you want to see that I'll link it below um, but it's just a simple wood holder <laughs> and I'm gonna set that there so there is a um, a little lip here so here's what I ended up doing. <laughs> um, I had these uh, Velcro strips on hand, so 
it's just one is there and then this will just all right so i'm just gonna play around with arrangements i don't know how it's gonna end up but i'll just do that and you'll see Core is not up yet because I still have a couple boxes to go through that are still packed so I'll do that afterwards and show you at the end but here is what I'm working with so far Check the camera. I am using my phone now because my battery died but here's what we have so far here we have our little mail and key station a little fake plant our alarm just elevated that just to add a little bit of height and these um, baskets are holding some scented wax melts and uh, candles and things we want to reach for easily so that basket up there is still empty but that's okay it'll be there if we need it <laughs> so I'm going to stop here for now and set up what I'm going to do is put a bench here um, and that's going to be so it's a space where we can sit and put our shoes on and then the bench has storage underneath um, that we can put shoes onto and I'll show you here I'm going to put a coat rack so let me do that and I'll be right back. This is the coat rack I got. I got this from Home Depot. And I was looking for a, like a modern style but wood tone. And so they were the cheapest price I found, which was surprising to me. Loving this color. It feels pretty solid. So. I'll link this in the description box too. I decided to, to go with a coat uh, rack as opposed to like hooks because I don't know if you could tell there's two different textures to the wall. Plus the with the bench here, um, where I would have put the hooks, the coats would have draped onto the bench, which I didn't want. Um, so. This is what we're going with. This one holds up to around 50 pounds, which is perfect for us. Um, this is also a great option for renters if you don't want to put things up on the wall. So. The bench fit perfectly from the edge of the door here to the plug so it's not you know in front of it but it's right there this is the bench we had in our bedroom if you watched that makeover that was going on two years now so that's where that's from we're just using it here now and then it has um these on the bottom where we'll put shoes and the boot tray will go under to catch any water or anything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and finish decorating adding whatever i need to up here and i'll show you guys the final 
overview uh, tomorrow when there's more daylight. <laughs> so, see you tomorrow. All right, here is the final look. Here's the rug. I hope you enjoyed this mini makeover slash entryway setup. I'd love for you to share this video if you know anyone who could use these tips on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.